What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to review Jungle Scout's Chrome plugin and how I use it in my Amazon wholesale business to help me find profitable wholesale suppliers, find out how much they're selling and things like that. You can also use this in your Amazon private label business and lots of other things as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. What's up? Todd Welch here from The Entrepreneur Adventure and we're going to check out the Jungle Scout Chrome plugin here that you can purchase and it really helps to dig into Amazon products to especially determine how many they're possibly selling per month. To make sure that you're purchasing the proper amount if you're doing wholesale or to scope out your competition if you're doing private label. Now if you look down below there's going to be a link in the description so you can download and install the Jungle Scout Chrome program plugin and purchase it through there as well. If you purchase through that link, I'll get a small cut of that at no additional cost to you. And it's gonna help me create more awesome videos like this to help you in your Amazon business. So I would really appreciate that. Again, click the link down below to get that installed. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to get subscribed to the Entrepreneur Adventure channel. Then click the little bell right next to it so you get alerted to more more videos like this that'll help you in your Amazon business. So once you've installed the Jungle Scout Chrome plugin, you're gonna have a little icon like this guy up at top here. And when you click that, it's gonna bring up all kinds of information on uh, Amazon about the products. Depending on what page you're on, it's gonna bring you up different information. So. The first thing that I like to do is to use it to just kind of determine how much a product is selling. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this just on a regular product page here on Amazon. And it's going to pull the information about this product as well as any other products that it finds on the page. So like sponsored products and things like that. Um, so for this one, it found the Simple Mills pancake waffle mix which you can drag this around the screen if you want to get it out of the way but if I drag it over you can see that matches this item here that we're looking at and then it also pulled up some information for a sponsored item which looks like a three pack of this same item so you can see here what's cool is it's given you a lot of information so it's giving you the current sales rank and it's giving you the estimated number of sales that it's going to get off of that sales rank uh, per month. And then this is the daily estimated sales per month as well. Um, estimated revenue based off of the current sales price and the number of units it's selling per month. Um, the current number of reviews, the current rating, and who the current seller is, and how many other sellers or total sellers there are. So all of this is really good information if you're looking at possibly selling a product. Um, number one, if you're doing wholesale, you're not going to want to compete against Amazon. So right off the bat, you can see um, that Amazon is selling this or currently holds the buy box and the buy box is just basically whoever is currently selling the product. Um, now, if Amazon is in the buy box, they're gonna hold on to that and not let anyone else get sales most likely unless you severely undercut them on price, at which point you're probably not gonna be making any more profit. Um, but uh, let's dig into some of the other numbers. So the monthly sales, I look for at least 300 monthly sales for Amazon wholesale. Um, so this would meet that. Um, and you can click on that daily or monthly number and just kind of see the historical average of about how many it had been selling historically. So that's really nice because then you can see how many it's currently selling compared to what it is historically to see if that number is going to go up or down to make sure that you're not just in a high spike and that you're actually in a normal sales range. So that can help you determine um, how many products you'll want to purchase 
so that you have enough to stay in stock, but you're also not purchasing too many. Um, you can do the same thing on the historical sales rank. So you can see approximately where you're at with that to make sure that you're not just in a spike um, and again, not purchasing too many products or too much of that product. Um, if you're doing private label, you can see the historical information on how well this product is selling because then if you're gonna brand or purchase this product, make some customizations and sell it your own, um, you can get an idea of how much you could potentially sell uh, based off of those sales rank numbers. Um, sales reviews are very good as well because you don't want to just rely off of the guesstimate of the number of sales. Because if it's saying that you're gonna get a lot of sales but there's no reviews or very low reviews, then it may not be completely accurate. Um, you're gonna to wanna to take this all as a guesstimate, these monthly sales um, and daily sales, uh, because they're basing it off of just the sales rank. And the sales rank is not always 100% accurate. Amazon is always changing the way it's calculating those numbers. Uh, as of late, they've been rolling variation listings, so listings that have more than one product on them, they've been rolling them together. So it can make it kind of difficult um, to have this information be 100% accurate. Uh, with this having 314 reviews and this one having 1,136 reviews, that tells me that uh, this information may be more accurate. Uh, with only 314 reviews and 1,721 uh, monthly sales, that makes me think maybe something is going on there. Uh, maybe that sales rank is coming from other variations on this listing because there's lots of variations on this listing as you can see here. Um, so you're going to want to dig into that further. Uh, you could dig into that further with other tools uh, like Review Meta, which is going to allow us to analyze those reviews and see which variation is getting most of the reviews or how those reviews are spread out. And I'll have a review of that down in the description so you can learn that as well. Um, you can also use tools like RevSeller, which is another great tool for digging into listings. So you can check that link out below as well. Um, if you click this plus sign, that adds this product to your back end of Jungle Scout if you purchase the web version of Jungle Scout as well. And then it keeps that product in your tracker so you can pull it back up routinely and look at it if that's something you wanna do. I have not purchased the web uh, extension or the web backend to this. I just use the Jungle Scout Pro extension um, to help me determine how much a product is selling and things like that. Um, but let's go ahead and look at another product just so we can get some more information. So another thing that I like to do is if you're searching for a product, let's say you're gonna look for a brand name, so let's keep on this Simple Mills, for example. So I'm gonna search for Simple Mills. And then what I like to do is narrow that down by the brand over here on the left so that I know that I'm just looking at that brand. And on a search page like this on Amazon, if you click the Jungle Scout plugin, it's gonna grab all of the listings on that page and it's gonna show you all of that information. Um, it's gonna, let's see, on this first page, there's 48 different items. So it should grab us about 48 here when it's all done. You can see 48 of 68 total results for Simple Mills. Um, and it's still grabbing all of those for us. Uh, it's actually grabbing more because it's also grabbing the sponsored products and things like that as well. You can see down here at the bottom one of 58. Once this information pops in, then you know it's done grabbing them. Um, what's cool with the Jungle Scout plugin is you can actually click this extract next page here 
and it goes and grabs the information from the next page so that you don't have to do that manually. Um, Jungle Scout is just going to pull that all in. So now you can see the results is going up uh, 1 of 83 so far and again it's grabbing those sponsored products and things so that's why it's more than the actual number of 68 results that we have here. Um, <clears throat> We can tell that that's done. That little icon stopped spinning here and then also this information updated up here as well. Um, so again, all of the same information here, but now you have all the different products from Simple Mills. So let's say you opened up in a wholesale account with Simple Mills. You can look at all their information here and see what products might be worth selling. Um, so for example, let's see here, we could dig in deeper with this one because it did not get any seller information here. Um, these ones Amazon are selling, so we might not want to look at those, although we could dig into those and see if maybe Amazon runs out of stock frequently and maybe sell their product. Um, but let's just scroll down here, see if any Amazon's not selling, um, nothing so far. Um, so you can scroll through individually like that or if you click on this little sandwich menu up on top here you can actually filter your results here and one of the things I like to do is uncheck Amazon and then get the lowest number of sellers maybe three or four uh, because that'll tell me that other people are selling this product as well so when we filter by that you can see now we only have so many results whatever meets our criteria um, but you can also sort uh, or filter by price number of reviews the current sales rank estimated number of sales estimated revenue the rating of the reviews and so on and so on lots of good things here uh, but when i close that you can see this brought up so there's maybe a few products here that might be worth digging into. These 236, 207 uh, doesn't quite meet that 300 threshold that I'm typically looking for. Um, but what you can do is you can just click on that right in Jungle Scout and it opens up that page for you. So it looks like we have some fine ground sea salt. Um, I've got some other plugins here again, Rev Seller as well as the Keepa plugin here, which you can see my review for the Keepa plugin and how I use that uh, down below. I'll put that link also, because um, with the Keepa graph, you can see that Amazon has been selling this in the past with this orange here, so that's really nice as well. Um, but if we hit the Jungle Scout plugin here, pulls in that information for us. Again, same information from the previous page. Um, and you can dig into that deeper if you want to by clicking on these. Um, in addition to that, down below here, um, you can click on this icon that's associated keywords, and it just gives you an idea of some of the top keywords that are associated with this listing. Um, so that's something you could use if you're going to maybe improve this listing or something like that. These are keywords that you're going to want to have uh, in your title, in your back end, in your description and things like that. Um, you can export this data with this icon down here. So you can download a CSV file is something that I do occasionally if you want to upload that into other software and things like that. Um, you could also download a screenshot or share it to Facebook for whatever reason if you wanted to do that. Um, occasionally you'll find that it will load the incorrect information in this window for some reason. If that ever happens, you can just click on this reload button up here and it'll refresh that data. Um, so just something to be aware of. Now one other cool thing as well, when you're on a search page like this and you have the Jungle Scout plugin open, there's a little icon down below here that will take you to a Google Trends report. So you can click on that, it opens up Google Trends, and then you can quickly see the interest over time of that search term on Google. So just a little bit of extra information that you can get from uh, Jungle Scout, an easy link 
over there as well. So that is how I use the Jungle Scout Chrome plugin in my wholesale, Amazon wholesale business. Again, those links down below, use those to purchase Jungle Scout if you're interested. Their affiliate links, I'll get a small cut at no additional cost to you and it'll help me make more videos like this for free for you. And also while you're down there, click the subscribe button and click the bell to get notified of more awesome videos like this. I really think you'll like the Jungle Scout Chrome plugin. I use it pretty much every day in my business. Um, again, also check out the other videos that I have here that you really might like and click here to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, this is Todd Welch with the Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling everybody.